Hey guys, welcome back to another video in my mum's tips series. Today we're talking all about toys and play items for newborns to about five months. Just in case you're new, my name is Charlie and I have a five month old baby called Alexis. And in today's video, everything that I'm talking about, I'm gonna be showing you real examples of Lexi playing with things. I wanna show you everything in action. I wanna show you Lexi interacting with these toys and just show you how much she loves these items. There is quite a lot of things. I'm hoping I'm gonna get through them all before she wakes up. She's currently asleep. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. She's asleep in the bassinet, so. It's unlikely I'm gonna get through making this video before she wakes up, but we're gonna give it a bash. So let's dive straight in. Also, I just wanna drop in here quickly. When I was researching the best toys, all the videos that came up were American, and I often found that I couldn't get the items or they were just really expensive with shipping costs. So everything in this video you can get in Australia and you can get in the UK. Unless I say otherwise, there is one little item that was a gift. Anyway, so this is my experience. I'm gonna be putting links to everything in the description below so you can easily find everything. You don't need to make notes, it's all just gonna be there. And I hope this is gonna be helpful for you, so let's dive straight in. The first thing you're gonna need is some sort of play gym or A-frame and a mat on the floor. Babies need lots of floor time, so you want a little area that you can then hang things from. We personally have a Finding Nemo themed baby gym. I am a complete Disney fanatic. I love everything Disney. I used to work for Disney. Yeah, I'm just Disney obsessed. So obviously we were gonna get a Disney themed play gym, but there's obviously tons of different play gyms on the market, loads of A-frames. You basically just need something that you can hang toys from. Our Finding Nemo one has lights and music as well, which is great and was so good when she was really, really young. Lexi absolutely loved the lights. She just was mesmerized. I think we must have put her in it when she was just about a couple of weeks old and she just was obsessed with it. She just, if she was crying, she would suddenly shut up because she was like, Oh, the lights. Little Bubs is just playing in the Nemo. <gasps> She's loving it. The next go-to item for us is ovals. Absolutely obsessed with them. This is one that has a little rattle in it. And what's great about these is they're good for fine motor skills. She can get her little hands in and she can play with it. Ours is attached to loops. We have so many loops to hang everything from the, the baby gym, from the stroller, everything, you know, we literally have loops on everything. By the way, everything I am mentioning is going to be in the description, so you don't have to make notes or anything, you can just look up and I'll put links to everything that I can find. Along with this theme, there's loads of different other items that the same company make, which have all been absolutely amazing. This little rattle has also been a massive favorite for Lexi. She just is completely obsessed with it. And again, because of the small little holes, it's very lightweight, she can easily pick it up. And it's great for really young babies because they can't pick up bigger toys, which is a mistake I made because originally I bought this. Freddy the Firefly, which is uh, a Lamar's brand and I was like oh that's gonna be amazing because it's got loads of textures and loads of things you know like flip up windows it's got a little teether I will go into this in a minute but I bought this for a newborn and it's just way too big they can't pick this up and it's too heavy and it's just it's not practical for a really small baby this is for when they get a little bit older so at the moment you know she's five months and this is much better but when they're very, very tiny, they just need small, lightweight things. And on that note, another item that Obal make is this little car, again, with the little holes so they can grab it easily. And it's got rattles. So this is one of our essentials. But again, we introduced this a little bit later on, around the four month mark, when she was more able to pick it up because it's slightly heavier than, say, just one of these. The Obal range is Fantastic, absolutely love them. Everything they've created. They have um, balls without the rattles in as well. We've got one that's attached to the baby gym. The next item that was really great for when she was really little, newborn, is these little black and white tactile books. They have 
crinkly, crinkly bits in them. I just love it. They're so, it's just so nice. And it was so calming. We'd put these around her when she was on her tummy doing tummy time so she could look at these. The high contrast is really great for newborns because their vision obviously isn't developed properly yet. And this is why something like this is absolutely fantastic. This one even has a squeaker in there, which is, which is good. So we had a couple of books like this that we used to just put around her when she's doing her tummy time so she can look at, you know, all the different shapes. And then as she's got a bit older, we've progressed on to just some really fun cloth books. This one is one of our favorites and was given to us as a gift from one of my friends in the UK. The brand is Little Dutch and it's brilliant because it's, um, it's shark bait. If you're a long-term subscriber, you'll, you'll know. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> um, and anyway, this one again, it has lots of, has crinkle and mirrors and things to play with and little flaps and crinkles. Anyway, that keeps her really entertained. I will put a link for this, but I'm pretty sure you can't get this one shipped to either the UK or um, Australia at the moment because I totally love this brand, Little Dutch. And I love all the stuff on the website. It's so beautiful, but you can't get it in Australia, which is really frustrating <laughs> anyway. But I think the rules have only changed because of um, the current world situation. I think they'll probably be back again soon. So I will link this just in case, because I'm really hoping that they open up their shipping again to Australia, because that'd be great. The next section is teething toys. Now Lexi hasn't actually started teething yet. We haven't got any teeth, even though some of the other babies in my, my mum's group, her teeth are coming through. So I've got a few toys. This seems to be one of the favorites so far. This little set of like gel keys. They have, um, I don't know if you can see, there, there's like gel in there so it's a little bit squidgy. And you can put these in the fridge to cool them down as well, which is, which is good. So those have been a favorite so far. But I also have all the, the standard ones as well. I bought Sophie the giraffe. I think she's still too little for this one because she just hasn't latched onto it yet. So this one has not been a success yet, but that's not to say as soon as she really starts getting those teeth coming through that she won't start using that. So we do keep offering it, but it's not her favorite. We do have another little giraffe that I got. This one's quite cute. Again, it's just like this really soft uh, material and she has been chewing on that. And the last ones, we got this set of these little fruits and they've been really successful. I think because they have a really small, thin trunk bit here, which, which is easy for her to get her little hands around and then she can put this in her mouth. And these, all the different fruits, I think it comes with like five or five or six fruits and all of the fruits have got a different texture to them. So she kind of loves that. And again, she's been chewing on those. She chews on everything, to be honest. But the absolute favorite for teething, which is not even a teething toy, has been this little wooden rattle. And she just shoves this in her mouth constantly and has been gnawing down on this. So that's not officially a teething toy, but you know, as I said, everything goes in the mouth. So now I'm gonna quickly jump back to those Lamar's toys. Lamar's? Lamar's? I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't think I've ever heard it said. Anyway, I have the Freddy Firefly, which is really great now. Again, she loves the high contrast. She used to love this when she was little, like we'd just hold this and crinkle. Anyhow, yeah, these toys are fantastic. So we have Freddy the Firefly and we also have Captain Calamari. <laughs> uh, it has all the things, it has all the textures on here, the crinkly bits, it has a little rattle, it has teething rings, um, it has a mirror underneath. And yeah, like these are great. Now she's bigger. Like, you know, I think we probably introduced these around the four and a half, five month mark to hang these from the baby gym. And she just goes to town on them, like crinkling them and messing, kicking them and messing them about. So they're, they're pretty good entertainment. And that leads me on to another toy that this company makes. I say toy, it's more just a, well, I don't, I don't know if you'd call this a toy, but it's more a sensory item. This little crinkly star that has different textures on the sides, has a squeak, um, has a teething little bit, so she's often biting on, putting this bit in her mouth and biting, and 
more crinkling. We put that on the floor for her tummy time and she loves to look at that. So that's quite a good little purchase. And again, that's the same company. But her favorite version of the crinkly toys is this little elephant. I think the reason that these things are so great is because they're really thin. So again, little tiny baby hands, they can actually grip onto it. It's really crinkly and it's got two little teething bits again. So we just hang that from the baby gym or from the pram. What's crazy is that if you don't have a baby, and I used to do this, is you think that the best thing to give a, a small baby is like teddy bears and stuff, but they're not really useful until they're older. Like for instance, we've got the little kangaroo in the background here. <laughs> this is one of our little toys. I think it's just so, so unbelievably adorable. And I even bought, I loved it so much that I even bought this for one of my friends in the UK and one of my friends in Germany that just had babies. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh my goodness, they need a little bit of Australia. <laughs> anyway, the thing is, is that this is too big for a little baby hand. So she can't pick this up and she can't really do, she can look at it obviously, but she can't do anything with it. So this is like not the best toy for a newborn, but I guess got it as decoration and for when she's older, obviously, but a little bit of Australia. Anyway, just before we go on to the next toy, if you're enjoying this style of video, like really showing you examples, then please make sure you're subscribed because I do loads of behind the scenes on this channel. I do behind the scenes vlogs. I also hopefully soon will be doing traveling and adventures with a baby. So we'd love to have you on our little journey. We're also building a blacksmithing business. So I'm gonna be doing lots of behind the scenes and what my husband does. Yeah, so come along, hit that subscribe button because there is so much going on and there is so much exciting stuff. And on this channel, I definitely like to tell it how it is. So if you are the sort of person that loves, you know, too much information, then this is the channel for you because I do not hold back. I am very real and honest. Anyway, let's get on with the next item. The next thing is something that I didn't think would be a massive hit, but apparently it is. Sensory textured balls and, and items. Lexi absolutely loves playing with these on her feet. She just spends the entire session when she's in the baby gym throwing this around, picking it up, just doing everything with her feet. I always try to make sure that she doesn't have socks on or doesn't have her little wonder suits like folded over so that she can really get her toes on these. And she just loves them. She feels for it, she finds them. If I haven't put it down right by her feet, I will find her like searching for it and she, you know. So we've got a couple of different balls, like shaped round ones, we've got the square one, and we've got the triangular, yeah. I got a pack of three this one, this one, and a ball as well, a red ball that came as a pack of three from a supermarket. I think it was from Kmart and they were pretty cheap and yeah, they were, they'd just been really good and I didn't, I didn't really think much of it. I was just like, oh, I'll just try these and see what happens and she absolutely loves them. It's all about the sensory items with babies. They just love it. Different textures, different feels because everything is new to them. The next thing is books, books, books. As you can see behind me here, we have a whole library of books. I just am obsessed with kids' books. I just love them so much. We have lots of different styles of books. We've got the classic story books. We've got kind of sensory touch and feel books. We've got lots of them. So I'm gonna show you a few of our favorites, a few of Lexi's favorites. This series has definitely been um, one of the popular ones all of the sea touch feel. They're very, um, they're very sensory. They have like lots of different textures and oh, they're just really the most beautiful books. And like, like this, like bumpy. We just run our hands over this and she just, she's like, she just was completely mesmerized by things like this. Like, it's, very fun. She loves all of these sort of books. I've got like quite a few in that series. This is another one from that series, the Sea Touch Feel. Um, again, you know, all of these will be linked down below. Um, this one absolutely loves the alphabet and they're all fingerprints and they're all like textured and, oh, it's just so beautiful. Just really love them. <laughs> 
How beautiful. So those ones are definitely good for the moment because she's so small. She just wants to look at the big pictures and it's quite hard to engage, a, you know, a three or four month old in a proper storybook. This is another favorite of hers. This whole series actually is the That's Not My series. <laughs> That's Not My Dinosaur. And again, they're all touchy feely. They have like little bits of bumpy teeth. She absolutely adores this one. I kind of like it too. <laughs> anyway, there's loads of those. We've got the That's Not My Dinosaur. We've got That's Not My Koala. That's Not My Kangaroo. Yes, we might be collecting those. Obviously, I have... I got this one from an op shop, actually. It was like a dollar or something. I just saw it and was like, Disney, The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid's my favourite. <laughs> and yeah... Just again, big, bright and colourful, and this is another favourite as well. Sorry, I'm going on and on here, but um, Australian animals. <gasps> Aren't they fun? They're so great. And, then, and what's great about these ones is that they're made up of different items. So not only are you kind of looking at cool pictures and stuff, you're also like going through, like looking at different things. Like, you know, it's made of feathers and there's like, coffee beans and that's a shoelace and yeah it's just really fun next up is bath toys which make great gifts for people because a lot of people don't think about getting bath toys we just have a few at the moment we have some little kind of colorful toys this is just a a few that I just picked up from the bath just now. And we also have this kind of caterpillar of lots, there's, there's like a whole chain of these little kind of tubs and they have different sized holes and patterns in the bottom. So you just pick them up, you just like scoop up the water and it all flows out and she, she absolutely loves that. She's completely fascinated. So yeah, there's a whole like link of those and those are really, really great. But yeah, bath toys make a fantastic gift because again, as I said, people often don't think about getting a bath toy for someone, so. Oh no, Bob's is stirring, so I might have to go and settle her. See if I can get another 10 minutes out of her. Now, as you know, tummy time is super important for babies. So anything you can do to keep them happy on their tummy is worth it. We bought this tummy time mat that you fill with water. And you lay this on the ground and she just loves it. It's like interactive, the things like the shapes in it, there's loads of shapes and they move. And yeah, she's pretty entertained by that. Another item that's been really useful is a little pillow for when they're in tummy time to kind of support their chest. This one actually came with our oh, Nemo. It's a, it's a seaweed pillow, as you can see. Um, but if your um, play gym doesn't come with a little tummy time pillow, something similar to this, it's really useful to get one because it really helps them when they're very young. She doesn't need it anymore because now she's a lot stronger. But in those first couple of weeks and, and months, it really helps having something to support them a little bit because then it's not quite so much effort and they don't scream quite as much. Another item that's been absolutely fabulous for us it's not so much a toy but this sensory little wrap when Lexi was really really little she absolutely loved staring at these we would just put them over the like over a cushion or over the back of the, the sofa and she'd just be looking at it constantly. She just was obsessed. This one is actually, was given to me as a really kind gift from one of my friends in the UK, but this one is by essaloves.com. They came as a pack of three, so there are um, three different patterns. And again, it's the high contrast. Young babies absolutely love this sort of thing. And I mean, even now she loves looking at this so they're really fantastic and we actually would lay it over the sides of our little baby gym the nemo so that she wasn't distracted by things around the outside so she'd just be looking at one of these instead and it was just really great and they've been fantastic so i definitely recommend high contrast drapes if you can something something along the lines of that they're really fantastic and the very last toy that has been an absolute fave is Minnie Mouse! <laughs> she absolutely loves this one. Again, it has crinkly ears. Clippity clock shoes. Teething ring. 
another thing that she teethes on as well. It clips onto anything, the baby gym or the pram. Yeah, anyway, Minnie Mouse has been an absolute favorite and we pretty much don't go anywhere without this one. She just, she loves her. <laughs> and that's just an all round kind of fun toy. Oh, and I'm just gonna quickly throw in here that getting a set of extra loops is really, really useful because you just attach toys to everything and it makes it so much easier. Also, a lot of the toys that hang from a baby gym um, hang, they'd hang too far away so she couldn't reach them. So we just added in the extra loop so they hang really low. So it means that she could actually play with them, especially when she was really, really tiny. And just make it much easier. So yeah, get yourself extra loops. They're really, really useful. So that is it. Hopefully you found this video useful. And as I said before, these are all products that you can find in Australia and the UK. I've got them all linked below. Full disclaimer, some of these are affiliate links, so it will help me out if you by any chance buy something on Amazon through my link. It's absolutely no cost to you, but just helps me out, helps support this channel and for me to make more videos. If you have any toys that I haven't mentioned in this video, then drop it in the comments. I wanna know, let's help each other out. Let's help all the mamas get the best value, the best toys, and please make sure that you're subscribed. It really helps me out. It's completely free to do, so why not? Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.